Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Shit I Have to Say About Stuff. <laughs> this post is about, uh, of course, mental health, anxiety, fitness, and coping mechanisms. That's just what I've become passionate about in my life. Um, my pursuits in fitness um, and health started because of a cancer diagnosis and recovery. And um, then it's sort of morphed now into uh, mental health and anxiety and my, and my studies have gone run the gamut. And so I saw a post the other day that was, um, went something like, you know, you're supposed to meditate, sleep eight hours, work eight hours, um, you know, be all of these things to all of these people, um, yet you can't find the time to do any of it and it's totally screwing you up mentally. And that's what I find, <laughs> there's this myth out there that there's some sort of balance that people are trying to sell you. If you just meditate, if you just do an ice bath, if you just have an Epsom salt bath, if you just go for a massage, if you read a book, if you, you know, stand up, <laughs> they give it, if, you, if you just eat this uh, meal, if you just take these pills, you're going to find your balance. You're going to be happy. You're not going to be anxious. You're not going to be depressed. You're not going to have any panic attacks. Um, that's not true. None of that's true. Uh, the balance in in life is the level of acceptance you have for the things that you can't change. And so while we have the ability to make choices to change our current financial situation, our current living arrangements, our current relationship um, circumstances, we can't always change everything inside of us. We can't add 10 hours to a day. And so I challenge you, if you are suffering the same way I am, I'm an avid meditator, I'm an avid podcast listener, I'm an avid bi multiple business owner, I travel a lot, I'm married, I have pets, I, have, <laughs> um, I exercise every day, I try to stay in a state where I might be able to go back into competition at some point, and I suffer from anxiety and depression and panic disorder. And I counsel people on all this stuff. Do I have balance? No. Will I ever have balance? No. I mean, maybe if I'm retired, but I also have goals. I also have things I want to do. Society's not telling me I need to do all these things, but man, does it feel good when I meditate. Man, does it feel good when I do yoga. Man, does it feel good when I go for a hike and when I have um, a workout and when I meal prep and when I do all these things, but I can't do all of those things all the time. And I need to have some cognitive flexibility around that to know that this week might be a real bang on week for me meal prep and workout wise, but it's not going to be good for my meditation. It's not going to be good for my extracurricular reading. It's not going to be good for for my studying Spanish and all these other things. So we have to find balance in our minds. It's not how do I organize these 9 million things into an eight hour period? That's not the key. So if you're having trouble figuring out exactly, has my emails come in? <laughs> There's flashing lights everywhere behind me. If you're having trouble wrapping your head around how to be happy with lots of different shit going on in your life, how to balance that, you need to first learn about winning and losing take some leave some and and once you decide to give yourself the flexibility to maybe be on point with one thing yesterday and not so much today you're going to find that balance but you're not going to be able to find that balance with the weight of all of those responsibilities choices desires on top of you if you want more help in creating some level of harmony in your brain with all of the stuff you want to do in this fast-paced world you can get it you can contact me, but I just want to let you know the first step is very much one you need to take on your own. It's sitting back and realizing you can't do it all. You just can't. So hope that uh, is an insight on how I run my days. I definitely can't do everything. I definitely can't. And when I do try to do all the things that really please me that don't necessarily bring me a bunch of cash, then I'm three weeks later like, holy shit, I got to get myself moving because I spent all this time meditating and working out and doing yoga and going hiking and reading and, and now whoops, the scales have tipped. There is a tipping point. You have to find that and uh, be willing to autocorrect. If you need help, if you need help managing your time, if you need help managing your mind, your meals, your fitness, get at me. You can DM me, you can email me, you can even text me. Hope that was, yeah, something good for you. Nobody's perfect. Nobody does it all. Don't let the internet fool you, brothers and sisters. Take care.